It's a race to space at Rensselaer Polytechnic Institute where students are hard at work, busy trying to make history. Members of the school's Rocket Society Club turning their eyes to the skies, hoping their rocket will soar to heights never seen before by a university rocket team. I caught up with the group who say despite some challenges, they're still shooting for the stars. While most college students are focused on spring break plans this time of year, this group of RPI students are focused on something a bit more daring. So really, you all are essentially rocket scientists. Yeah. Yeah, yeah it's a pretty cool fact to be able to say. And you can't be a rocket scientist without a rocket and a big one. Can I lift it? Oh, yeah, of course, of course. Of course. It doesn't have the I'm motor. Like, I don't want it to no, take no, no, no. <laughs> You're good, no motor in there, totally oh, wow. safe. Yeah. The aerospace engineering students, known as the Ascendants, using this rocket to attempt something that no other university team has done before. Two, one. Send a rocket 330,000 feet into the sky where Earth and outer space meet. I've always loved space, I've always loved rocketry. I think this is an awesome opportunity and I would not wanna waste that. The team off to a good start, launching their rocket more than 42,000 feet high in an earlier competition in Nevada. Their latest design, though, expected to soar up to 375,000 feet, cruising straight into outer space. The students' mentors and accomplished alumni that line these walls helping guide them along the way. What would it mean for you to have your research one day featured in here, like all of those that came before you? It would mean everything. Mm -hmm. um, it would be a great sense of pride. It would, it would really mean everything, and it would show how well RPI has shaped me. The students also researching cost-saving benefits of their project that could benefit mankind in the future making the time, effort, and energy they're dedicating to the mission that much more rewarding. You feel such a sense of pride because you're like, oh my goodness, I spent so many hours working on this in the lab and on the computer and all that, and then you just put it on the pad, you watch it go up, and then everybody else around you is also watching it, so you're like, yes, it worked. Such, it? A, such a great feeling. A feeling these students wouldn't trade for anything, even that early spring break planning. What would you say to folks out there who might say, but you guys are young, you should be out there, you know, having fun, relaxing. You don't need to be worried about rockets right now. Yeah, I would say dare to dream, follow your dreams. I mean, NASA has always been a huge inspiration for me. They show you to follow your dreams. They show you to aim for the moon. And that's exactly what I'm going to do. We're only going up from here. <laughs> now, it takes a few months for the students to complete a rocket, so the team is currently working on their latest design that they plan to test out at a competition this summer against other prestigious university teams, including MIT and Cornell. Dare to dream. I love the attitude. You know, yes. the, the richness of the aerospace tradition mm -hmm. there, that they're mm -hmm. carrying it on. Mm -hmm. You walk right through there. George I, Lowe, you see him right there. It's yeah. so cool. I love when I get to talk to the RPI students. They're so bright, and this particular bunch are so passionate about what they're doing. There so, you go. Um, best of luck to them. Carpe yeah. diem, RPI. <laughs>